attuning to the overall energy being this is spiritual balance and we have the empress you know the energy of the past maybe you've been through some things and it's happened for your life and you do that by mastering your craft so many things are manifested and now expansion and we have the four of her and they, there is and let me just explain you also have the three of water You already want the creator. You just you're confused. In the water, yeah. I have the one of the rock. Then you have right after that, and because synergetic results are near and here. So putting these together is basically saying you're feeling someone is feeling. Um, today is October 11th so I'll be reading for today and the weekend just to feel the energy of the masculine and feminine or give you some insight and clarity into your journey this is a general reading so it goes without saying that you know this is not personal to you but it may be some messages that you resonate with so take it as it resonates as it pertains to timing and as it pertains to content Tarot is a three-way street. Me, you, and spirit all coming together to understand and deliver and resonate with or and understand a message as it pertains to us. So you would know if there is something that I say that you understand and that applies to you and that will help you on your journey. The Twin Flame Journey, the twin flame journey is about the dualities of yourself, your spirit, and your flesh coming together as one to operate as one so that you can be a vessel of light on earth live in your purpose live in alignment with who you truly are and attract your spiritual mate the person that you were created to spiritually match with two spiritual matches goes beyond explanation of words but two spiritual beings that align with each other as you become one with yourself and they become one with their self you become one together with the light or god whatever you want to call it um so some people may look at twin flame readings as relationship readings but that's the low vibrational aspect of it the higher vibrational aspect of it is oneness with yourself but i do read masculine and feminine energies it could be the external masculine. It could be the internal masculine. It could be the masculine aspect of yourself. It could be the external feminine or just the feminine aspect of yourself. Again, take it as it resonates and cards are already falling. 1718. Interesting. Going When I see a number and then I see the next number, it's like forward progression. But with this forward progression, with this action, there's some anxiety attached to it. Um, ooh, we, spirit is already speaking to us. Spirit is so anxious to speak to us. And we have the garden in the gate, 30. But with the garden in the gate, it's like having access to something, but not taking any action or not stepping outside the gate to get it. Anxiety will do that. You have access to something. Once you take action on it, you have access to it. However, this is like eight I mean, sorry, eight and nine, going from eight to nine. You have the means to progress, except anxiety is holding you back. Now we have quincunx, however you say that, with Mars and um, Uranus. So this can be causing us some sort of anxiety as it pertains to like where we want to be in life or what we think we should be in life. So the energy in the cosmos can be affecting us in that way like we may be dissatisfied with where we are we may be dissatisfied with progression of our goals and meeting our goals and in life progression and for movement it could be this journey it could just be in life in general but um with the reading a daily energy reading i did for my instagram ashley gillard um it just basically said be at peace you know if you need to tweak something tweak it but remain at peace and at calm and pressure makes diamonds. So this little pressure that we're under because of Mars and Uranus um, quinkux, it could just be 
pressuring us to move forward, but don't be in an energy of anxiousness. Be in an energy of order, structure, peace, and forward movement. But with here, something is holding someone back from taking action. So that's the overall energy. Someone having anxiety and, and afraid to take action or about some action not being taken. It could be some action not being taken and anxiety related to it. So we have the Queen of Cups coming out and the Queen of Swords. Oh, child, this journey, this journey, this journey, this journey, this journey. So what we have here, two queens, Knight of Cups. So what could be holding someone back and maybe a male figure or someone who dates women so there is a male figure that's being held back from making, taking action. They're in a gate. They're locked in this gate, held back from taking action because it's two queens that an offer can be extended to. So not taking action because this male figure is not taking action because you have multiple options to choose from. This is weird because usually when I'm reading Twin Flame lately, I've been in the energy of the feminine having multiple options. But today, it's the masculine with multiple options and not moving forward on one of those options because you have you don't know which one to choose, the Queen of Swords or the Queen of Cups. Interesting. Listen, child, I just be, I'm one of those people, and then we're gonna read the masculine energy of this reading. I'm one of those people who's like, if you have a problem, between choosing me and someone else, choose them. Choose them. Because if you don't know what you want, you may choose me and go back and forth with that person. I don't have time for that. I want to be with somebody who's sure about me. And if you're not sure about me, then be with the other person. But anyway, let's read the masculine energy. Someone's trying to come out. I like to clarify the masculine and feminine energies as I pull the cards only because that's what I like to do. So, and I do it with these playing cards. I had a dream, and I keep having this dream in these readings about a choice, needing to make a choice. And in my dream, there was an, a proposal to someone asked to marry me. I don't, there was no face, it was a face, but I don't recognize the face. It was a lesson, and then we had. Usually I have these celebrities in my readings, I'm mean, in my dreams for some reason, perhaps they're in the same energetic realm, the spiritual realm. But anyway, I took these tarot cards and, I, and the tarot cards was helping me to make a decision of whether or not I should marry this person. So I'm shuffling these tarot cards, sorry about that in the background guys, but I'm shuffling these tarot cards to see what decision I should make and I pulled two and it was, it was a custom deck. It would have playing cards in it and tarot cards in it, and the tarot images were different. But it was like, for some reason, it was like Kanye was. And it was Kanye, but it was the Empress. So it was the Empress, and then it was Kanye walking away or walking towards something. So I pulled it out, and I was talking to like the Kardashians. It was like Chloe and Kim or something. And I pulled it out, and I was like, is he walking towards his family or walking away from it? And to a tiddly, it was walking away. So I told, you know, the person that proposed to me, I'm like, I can't marry you. Look at this. He's walking away. So the cards are telling me to walk away. And he looked kind of sad. And then I asked him, I said, can you see yourself being with someone who believes that everyone is God? And he said, no. And then I was like, you don't even know me. And I left. I got off the bus. I chose not to marry him. I got off the bus and all my stuff was kicked out the bus and I ended up in someone's house, a family member's house. But that was just interesting to me because, you know, all these readings that I'm getting with the feminine being offered a choice, it's like I'm being led to a decision. But for this reading, the masculine is a masculine energy choosing between women. And having anxiety and not moving forward on either because you don't know who to choose. <sighs> Queen of Swords came out again, just FYI. Mm. So we have Queen of Swords, we have Ten of Wands, and we have the Six of Wands. 
for the masculine energy and the two of wands or the two of clubs on the bottom of the deck now which is which i resonate with the two of wands moving forward on plans or planning to move forward on something strategy decision but um interesting but the the queen of swords here while it came out here it could be a person libra um or it could just be making a clear decision to move forward with someone um successfully but being burdened by it as well so it's like coming from it from a place of objective instead of in facts instead of emotions which so here it's like making a decision from facts and instead of emotions um but also being burdened by that decision because again you know you have to choose one so you're burdened because you have to leave something behind and the six of wands is just clarifying that wanting to come together with someone successfully who can i be with successfully so if you look at it from an objective and instead of an emotional point of view who matches your vibe as it pertains to achievements, as it pertains to success, as it pertains to coming together and, and going forth on a mission and being successful in life? Okay. Oh, let me look up the feminine's energy, see how the feminine plays into this. I'm getting very masculine vibes, though. And when I mean masculine, this time I mean, like, the person that resonates as the um masculine could be a male especially with two queens here but yeah it could I mean, women date women too so but yeah it's making a decision on who to move forward with i don't want to just exclude myself from anyone but Whoever I'm going to be with will know I'm the one. Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, who to build with? Who to answer the next phase of life with? I knew it had something to do with, like, with the Six of Wands coming out. Achievement and success. But from the feminine perspective, I think this is just the masculine. Still the masculine, but looking at the feminines, like... Who can I be successful with? Being all tied up about it still. Who can I build with? Maybe both parties are, you know, maybe you could build with both parties. That eight, eight of Wands is showing to. Ooh, coming together. This is going to happen quick too. Like being ready to build with someone. Being ready to come together with the feminine. But having multiple options and not knowing which one to choose. Being ready to come together with someone, but, you know, and wanting to do it fast because you're ready to build, you're ready to enter the next phase of life, but you just don't know how to choose. Well, but I'm not knocking people either because I know that in my dream, I may even have a decision that I need to make as it pertains to multiple people. So I get it. I get it. I can't take, you can't take everything personal. I love how this shines. Anyway, so next we have King of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Four of Pentacles. Excuse me, Knight of Swords now. In the bottom. Notice how we have the King and the Queen of, Queen of Swords. And notice how the Queen of Swords came out twice. That makes me feel like the Libra is the, is the person to choose because you have the king and you have the queen so the twin could be the libra but the king of swords is making a clear decision that came from the intuition or was inspired by the intuition the king of swords is like um objective clear decision like no if ands buts about it but with the with the high priestess it's like Intuitively, you know what to do. And making a decision to follow your intuition is telling you who to hold on to with the Four of Pentacles. It's like, I'm going to hold on to the Queen of Swords. 
or I'm going to hold on to a particular person because that's what my intuition is leading me to do. I'm following it. I'm going with it. I'm very clear about what I want to do and I'm going to do it. So making a decision to move forward. I know I, I don't need to clarify that. So I'm going to keep going. Making a decision to move forward on who to hold on to. But the overall energy is guarding in the gate, which is inaction. But it's time to take action. Anxiety holding someone back from taking action. The chariot, forward movement. Yeah, buddy. Listen, three major arcana. Four. And now we got the judgment on the bottom of the deck. And the fool is right under it. That's five major arcana that just came out in the same um, pool. So this is huge. This is huge. This is major. This is life changing. This is life altering. This is huge. So I guess you can understand when a person is in that energy of anxiety when they're making such a huge decision. This is this is transformational, life changing decision. Who to come to? Judgment makes me feel like this is also wanting to put it like a court judgment wanting it to be a marriage wanting to come together as a marriage as union but so we have the chariot with forward movement we have the magician and we have um the strength seven eight again we had eight nine here now we have seven eight Seven, eight was in another one of my readings earlier. I'm going to have to look that number up. Um, spiritual completion and forgiveness, resurrection, completion of spiritual cycles is what I'm getting from the number 78. But I'm also getting, um, yeah, yep, balance. Bringing things back to balance. Being a vessel of light on earth. Spiritual completion, forgiveness, resurrection, restoration. Bringing balance back to your life. With the number 78 is what I'm channeling. Anyway, but forward movement, manifesting this connection, ready to move forward, ready to come together. But with the strength card, it's going to take some strength. It's going to take, because it's, so, it's such a big move, it's going to take might. It's going to take energy. It's going to take all in. Whoever it is making this decision to move forward. Let me pull some masculine and feminine energies. Remember, red is masculine. Five major arcana. Because the fool was right under this judgment. Five major arcana. That's major. That's like major. Five is the number of God's grace. But it's like a major, making a major decision to move forward with someone. Well, you know how it is when one, see, this is probably what it is. So the masculine is an energy of choosing multiple, having, you know, first it's the masculine choosing between multiple people, finally making a choice. But the person that the masculine chooses, it's like soon as one chooses you, they all choose you. And so they all start choosing the feminine after the masculine makes a choice. So then that also puts the feminine in the same energy the masculine was just in anxiety guarding the gate not knowing what to do can't move forward because it's a big major decision between the feminine so whatever you're going whatever the masculine is going through right now just don't dish it out and you can't take it if you if you dish it out make sure you can take it get the fuck out of here king of swords again It is time to make the decision. We got the King of Swords three times in this reading already. We got it in the Tarot. We got it in the Feminine. We got it in the Masculine's energy. Like the King of Swords, Three of Pentacles, um, on the bottom now with the Masculine's energy. But this is major. It's really time to move forward on this decision. Nine of Cups. So. Nine of Cups represents with the stars aligning and being blessed. I feel like it's just time. 
with the three of pentacles and the nine of cups here it's like it's time to make the step forward it's time to take the step forward to manifest this connection like you you no more waiting it's time to make the decision the king of swords came out three times king of swords have clear thoughts clear decisions it's like spirit saying listen linda listen We've waited long enough and it's time to make a damn decision. Period. What about the feminine? That's crazy. Three of King of Swords three times? Come on now. Don't let the devil hold you back. Anxiety holds you back. Things are manifesting very quickly. Oh yeah. Maybe, okay. Eight of Pentacles here. Okay. Three eights. Two eights. 8 came out here before 888 resurrection but um abundance resurrection new beginnings forgiveness restoration regeneration that's what i'm getting with 888 but anyway with the 10 of swords or the 10 of spades and the 8 of wands um 8 of clubs it's like because the reason why it's time to make a decision now is because shit is about to pop off we got five major arcanas remember this is really spirit saying like shit is about to pop off things are about to change and manifest endings and new beginnings are about to manifest really quickly so it's time for you to make your decision it's time to move forward because it's divine timing so this is the feminist energy remember so the feminine's life is about to take off like new beginnings restoration you know, this 888 energy is for the feminine. It's like resurrection, restoration, regeneration, uh, recovery, manifesting very quickly in the feminine's life with, with really quick endings and new beginnings. So for the masculine, it's like spirit is saying, yeah, you need to move quickly because the feminine's life is about to change. So fuck the bullshit. Stop bullshit. Stop bullshitting and come together. It's time. See how my lining is like that's so irritating. It's like I'm missing one. But it's like it's time to move forward right now because listen, it's divine timing and the feminine's life. The feminine is about to take off. Therefore, I need you to make your decision now because you're a part of the feminine's life. You are you two are a pair. And in this next phase, you two are gonna need each other. Therefore, instead of waiting until you no longer have access to the feminine because the feminine's life is about to take off, work on it now. So it won't be no issue. Maybe it's because maybe it's like spirit trying to avoid this influx of offers that's coming into the feminine. It's like helping the feminine make a decision. Because if you were there before to take off, okay, you were there before to take off, let's, we're taking off together. But if you're there after the take off, it's like, mm, now, what's up now? All of a sudden, now my life takes off and you're here? So maybe the spirit is saying, it's time to take a step forward now, so it won't seem like you're an opportunist. Yeah, yeah, yep. What else do we have? I think I'll leave it at this. Faith. I knew these were the same two cards that was just on the bottom of the deck. Y'all saw me shuffling them. Two of cups now on the bottom. Yep, coming together as one. It's time to come together as one. It's time to come together as one. Having faith. We got a lot of, we got a couple kings in here too. The fact that we have the king of swords coming out three times. And then we have the um, king of pentacles coming out as well. That's four kings here. Lots of masculine energy in this reading. But it's like, it's going to take a leap of faith. In order to enter this new beginning and this more stable partnership with the feminine, you're going to have to take this leap. But, the, you know, taking this leap is leading to a good place. It's like jumping in this energy, which is stability, abundance, security, 
you're secure. It's like, you know, it works for you, but you have to take the leap. So this anxiety, this guarding the gate energy, you have to get rid of it. It's time to get out of this energy because it's going to work. There's no need to be have anxiety. If you come together with the feminine, it's going to work. Oh, look at the angel of balance showing up. Listen, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. You got the hermit right under there, the light. It's divine timing. It's, it's a divine partnership and it's going to work. But you have to have faith. That was the story. That was the message from my um, reading earlier as well. For, I don't want to pull this. I want to pull, I don't know why spirit is tell, my spirit is telling me to pull another one of these. But that was my message earlier for my daily energy reading on my Instagram channel, Ashley Gillard. And my Facebook channel, Ashley Gillard. It was like, have faith. You're being pressured, but the answer is to have faith. What is this that wanted to come out of here? Didn't I just say divine timing? Healer of the ages. Ooh. Now patience being on the bottom of the deck. I was, listen, that's the same thing that I was just talking about for my um, daily energy. Having faith, not being under pressure by having faith. Calming yourself down and deciding to have faith. But maybe healer of the ages is like the reason why the feminist life is taking off is because it's time to heal. Heal others. Perhaps the feminine is a healer. So her whatever she's doing, practice is taken to the next level because it's divine timing. The people need her. Him or her. It's time to heal. But it's also time to heal both of you. The masculine could be healing and the feminine could be healing themselves as well. But perhaps they heal together. It's time to heal. It is time to heal. So have faith. It's time. It's just simply divine timing. And it's time to take action and come forth with a decision so that life can take off from there. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, commenting. Every minute counts. Every watch counts. Every view counts. Every share counts. Every comment counts. Thank you all so much. I'm thinking about doing a special on readings, um, cash app special or something like that, uh, on readings for like maybe 11 11 or 9 or something like that. So if you're a first time reading client, inbox me email me let me know you want a reading and we can go from there and i'll give you a discount for your first reading i wish you all love i wish you likes i wish you more life please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe peace thank you for watching don't forget to visit ashleygillard.com that's a-s-h-l-e-y G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D dot com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.